today we're going to unbox this and show you how it's used to crimp one of my favorite type of connectors, the Deutsch connector. So your standard uh, DT connector with the uh, closed barrel contacts, this will make quick work of it. So let's jump in real quick and take a look at what we've got here. So this is one tool that does three different sizes. So in the DT world, you have the number 12, which is the largest. Those are for power. And then you have the DT size, which the locator is actually already in here that adjusts. I'll show you how that works in a minute. And then you have the size 20, which is for DTM. So these are for the smaller contacts, also for the amp seal series. So you can actually use this to crimp down the contacts for the amp seal mill spec connectors. So at a glance, these might seem a little bit intimidating. They got a lot of uh, adjustments, but they're actually really easy to use. And I'll show you how we first set this up. So we're gonna open this guy up and take the cotter pin out. And what we're doing is we're gonna set this to the wire size of what we're crimping. And we're gonna be doing 20 American wire gauge. So I'm gonna lift this, switch it over to the 20. You can see the selector is matching up to the 20. And then we're gonna throw the cotter pin back in just like that. And uh, this will change the dies to crimp down to the 20 AWG size. So there are different wire sizes um, that you can fit in these contacts, but we're gonna be doing 20 AWG. So that's what we do there. Uh, the next step is setting the depth of the locator. So there is a jam nut and we're just gonna loosen the jam nut all the way back and we're gonna run the locator up until it stops. So the way you set this is you just drop this guy in, the pin, and what we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to get the dies between that locator hole on the contact and the end of the uh, insulation on the contact. So we drop it in, and then this is something that you may have to, um, you may have to set with one or two crimps, but you can see as I twist this, that pin drops further and further down in there. So what I like to do is just bring it into like the first stage where you're not actually crushing it, but you can go in and you can set the height kind of based on where the middle would be. And so right about there looks between that uh, inspection hole on the crimp and um, the end of the jacket right there. So. Pretty much just like that, we just drop it in, set it up, and uh, we're gonna actually take this out so we can crimp that up, make sure the jam nut's locked, and uh, we're ready to go. You've also got the other contact sizes for 12 and 20, and then you have a go and a no-go gauge. This is actually pretty cool. You can make sure that the crimp itself is functioning as um, it's supposed to, this is for 20, so we can actually check it right now. And this just gives you like a machined pin to put in here and make sure that the crimp is actually um, going to the right gauge. So you can feel there's like a, a very, very, very slight tug on it, but it fits just perfectly. And so we know that it's actually calibrated to the right size. And then this is the red, which is the no-go, and it shouldn't go through. If it's going through, then it needs to be readjusted. So that's the uh, go, no-go. I'm just gonna put that guy back in. And let's pull this out, and we're gonna set up a crimp for you to show you how this all works. There's the crimper. I've got my Rust CFI project that I'm working on, and what we're gonna do tonight is just connect these two power wires to their own DT connector. So, I'm just gonna pull these over to the side here and uh, prepare one of the contacts. So we're gonna take our number 16 contact, drop it in, just like that. And then you see here, we can take this wire, drop it down in. There's also some instructions on uh, sheathing this wire. You actually want some of the wire exposed um, 
so that it doesn't put strain on the jacket if it pushes against it. And you also want that wire to be visible through the inspection hole on the bottom of the contact. What's cool about that is iCrimp has the instructions for that. If you're unfamiliar, you can always go check it out and review the instructions um, online. So anyway, we've got everything selected, 20 AWG. We've got the number 16 contact locator in. It's set to the right depth, so we can go ahead and complete the crimp operation. Just like that. We've got a nice crimp. We could actually probably lower that crimp just a little bit in between those two, but that is a very nice suitable oper uh, crimp operation. So it's not going anywhere. So let's go ahead and do the other one real quick. And uh, should be good to go. So we'll drop this guy in. And then we'll run this up into here, drop it in, put just a little bit of positive pressure on it so it stays bottomed out in the contact, give it a nice squeeze. And there we go. So what's cool is now we've got these two ready to put in the DT connector. So grab my DT connector, drop these pins in, push them until they click. Nice positive engagement. And we have a successful DT connector crimp with the iCrimp MilSpec HD crimper.